I'm really looking forward to today. We have a really fun exercise. The title of today is The Gift of the Moment. And it, that's going to be our focus is how do we, how do we understand, how do we feel this concept of in the moment or of being present? So I want to just jump right in today with a little exercise. So take a moment and just, just clear a little space. Like if it's really, if you've got a lot of clutter around you, just make a little space. It doesn't matter if you're um, sitting, if you're standing, even if you're driving, it doesn't matter. This isn't going to be like going to sleep kind of meditation. Um, later, there will be a moment where I tell you to close your eyes. If you're driving, keep them open, but you can still, <laughs> you can still do this because this is actually a exercise that you can take to your riding. You can do it in a moment before you get on standing at the mounting block. You can do it anytime in the saddle. So what we're going to start with is I'm just going to lead you through the senses and we're going to take a few minutes pausing at each sense and just notice what comes in. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, it, there's no, like, it really doesn't matter. This isn't about staying hyper-focused. This isn't about getting super meditative, whatever that might mean to you. It's just noticing your senses. So we're going to begin with seeing everything around you. So I want you to just look up. And let your, let your eyes kind of like move around. So it's not about just scanning. It's not about seeing anything in particular. Just see kind of what comes in. But just notice, so for me right now, I see actually colors. So there's some wood in my home, some wood trim, and I see kind of the different colors in the grains of the wood. And then I notice the um, plants moving a little bit outside in the breeze. I notice the dust on the lamp in front of me. I notice some cobwebs, some of the things that I have on my desk. If you're outside, you know, you might see your, your animals moving, the chickens pecking. So we'll just go quiet for just a few moments and just again, let your, let your gaze kind of take you wherever it wants and just let that, that information, that sensory from the environment, wherever you are, come in. Okay, so now we're just going to shift and you probably already started to notice some of these other senses as well. We're going to shift to sounds. So now just let the, the sounds come in. Just kind of you know, shift your focus to the sounds. So some, I, some of what I'm hearing is um, there's a truck going by. I have a little space heater next to me. I can hear that blowing. And there's some birds outside. So again, I'm just going to go quiet for a moment and just let all the different sounds come in and let it let them just kind of take you from one sound to the other. So you may have found that as you kind of focused on sound that you just let your gaze stay, you know, maybe on one point, you might have found that you still kind of let your gaze go around and follow the sound. Either way is totally fine. We're going to shift next to the sense of, um, of touch. So for this, you might notice your um, clothes against your skin. You might notice um, if you're somewhere where there's a, a breeze. You might notice a breeze. If we were outside, we would probably notice that more. I notice, again, my heater, the warmth of my heater against me. I notice like the tightness of the of my belt. Notice my feet in my socks and on the ground. Just notice any sense of feel, anything tactily.
Okay, now we're going to shift to smells. And this is always a really, a really rich one to do at the barn. Uh, we, we all know that we love the smell of horses and hay and maybe even manure. But um, I want you to think about what you're smelling right here. It'd be nice to just take a deep breath. So I smell like a little hint of the um, breakfast that I cooked earlier. I smell just the, I would describe it as just that, like a familiarity, that familiar scent of my home. And this again, it's it's totally normal. You might find that you kind of, you know, go to the sound or your eyes move around a little bit, taking in some of the different sights, totally fine. Just keep coming back to what do you smell? Noticing that one. All right, so now we're gonna go to um, two senses that are more internal. So this is where if you are somewhere where you can close your eyes for these, I'm gonna encourage you to do that. If not, no problem. So uh, the first one is gonna be a sense of um, interception. So this is kind of an internal feeling. So for this one, go ahead and close your eyes and then just feel inside. So this is where you might feel a stiff muscle somewhere. You might have a little bit of soreness. Maybe, you know, January you did a workout and you hit it a little hard and you're a little tight and sore somewhere. Maybe you have a, um, you know, kind of notice the feeling in your, your belly. Does it feel really relaxed and soft? Do you have maybe a little bit of tension? Maybe you're thinking about, you know, you've got a really busy day or you've got a meeting right after this. Just notice what you're feeling inside. This is where you can notice your breathing. Does it feel like it comes easy? Does it feel like there's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a stickiness in it? And through all of these, including this one, it's not about changing it. Right now, we're not even necessarily trying to release that tension or change anything that you feel. It's just, just feeling it just like you notice the other senses. Okay, so we're gonna shift. This is gonna be um, the, the final one that we're gonna do today. Um, for this one also, I'm gonna encourage you to close your eyes again, and we're gonna feel a sense of balance. And this again, you can do this sitting, you can do this standing. I'm actually at my standing desk right now, so you're gonna see my movement from standing, and I think Jen is sitting. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna like sway a little bit. So what, what you wanna find is the point, regardless of you know standing or sitting or even driving, Find where it's really easy, where you're, you know, supported by, if you're sitting, you're supported by the chair. If you're standing, you're just feeling like you're standing in, in balance. And then you're going to move a little bit outside of that. So like you're going to go a little forward and then you're going to come back to the center. So go ahead and close your eyes. And then just start to find those little movements. So you're going to come a little bit out of your center, maybe coming a little bit forward and then just come back. So again, coming back to where you're either feeling really supported, maybe by the chair or where you're standing, it's just that point where you're, you can really let your body soften and it feels like it's the easiest place to be in balance. And then you're gonna go a little bit to one side or the other. And just notice how muscles might change a little bit. Some muscles have to tighten in order to, you know, to hold you upright as you come out of a little bit out of that place of balance and then come back to center. And we're just going to keep moving this way. Wherever the, whatever options are available, depending on where you are, just move a little to the side, a little forward, even a little bit back if you're standing or you don't have a, a back to your chair. You can scoot a little bit forward on your chair too to give you some more options. Just kind of move in and out of center, go a little bit out of center and come back. All right, and then finding that place where you're just feeling right in the middle. 
go ahead and open your eyes back up. And then I like to just close this exercise with, we're gonna take one more moment where we'll just be quiet and that let your let your senses just kind of take you around through all of those different ones that we just explored. So you might, you know, notice something come in that you see and then you might hear something, you might feel a little sense in your body. You just kind of let yourself flow around between all the senses that we were just noticing. You can open your eyes, keep them open, you can close them. It doesn't matter. You can go back and forth. And go ahead and just to come back to us here. The thing that I wanted to mention too is, so to ride well, we have to be in our bodies. That really is the core of good riding. And it's really interesting from my perspective as an instructor, because I get to work with people starting out in riding um, that come into it with, you know, with different life experiences or with just a different way of being in life. And it's really, really fascinating how those that come into riding that come in with kind of zero expectations, oftentimes I find there are folks that have a background in um, yoga or meditation or, or something where they've, they've had the practice of being present and it's something that they practice in their life in whatever form that might be. Man, they just get it. They get it so quick. Because in the, the connection piece with the horse, you know, they don't have to have a big background of education. They don't know that much about horse behavior, but because they're in their bodies, they can, they can sense things, they can notice things. And that is, um, that's just the key. And the other really important thing too, is that I think sometimes we mistake that, okay, if we're in the moment, we're going to feel good. We're going to feel relaxed and calm. And that is not necessarily true because right. being in the moment is feeling whatever is there. And sometimes that's a really uncomfortable feeling. That could be like in riding, that could be fear. That could be fully feeling that I am scared as heck right now. And, mm -hmm. but we have to feel that in order to be able to move past it. I want to invite you today to mark your calendar for January 13th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. On January 13th, I'm gonna be hosting a free seminar. So over the last few weeks, I've been asking for your feedback on, you know, what do you really wanna learn? What are your biggest questions moving forward into this new year? What would most help you with your riding, with your horsemanship going into the new year? And I have been taking all of your feedback and working to put together this seminar to really answer those questions for you. So the seminar is totally free. All you have to do is sign up. I'll let you know all the details as we get closer. But this is really going to be a time to kick off your new year in riding. And I would love to have you join me. So again, make sure that you mark your calendar for January 13th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs>